Okay, uh, welcome to Phoenix Blues Designs of Travel. Um, and this is the designs part. And I wanted to um, just show you what I'm doing in the backyard to kind of clean up my little um, gardening area. So let me flip this around if I can. Okay, here are the gardening pots. These are what gonna, are going to contain the squash. And <laughs> I can feel the drops of rain now. <laughs> the potting soil, um, the pine bark mulch. Here's the um, the no dig border. And people had asked me about the no dig border and whether it worked. It did. We did this ourselves. We got the materials from Lowe's, um, the dry cement from Lowe's, put that down. Hey Bosco, <laughs> and um, put the you put the put that down, put the stones down. So I didn't even level anything. I just put down enough um, cement material so that the the border would be as level as possible. Down here, you can see where there's a little bit of a dip, but it doesn't really um, affect the border. Um, and so you lay it dry, and then you just um, Spray it with a garden hose, low, low velocity, not hard, uh, and then it just sits. So underneath is just a bit of cement, and the um, the stones are stacked up. And I used some um, landscaping glue for the stones, even though the landscaping glue didn't work as well with the stones. Some of the stones still can be knocked over, like in the back they got knocked over. Uh, then I took the old soil that was in the pots and put it over in a low spot. So next is gonna be cleaning these out <laughs> and planting squash seeds in there. Um, the carrots actually did come up over there, but I didn't harvest them. So that's gonna come out. And I think what I'm gonna do are some morning glories um, to go in there so they can climb up the trellis. Cause right now it's just the fake vines that are looking pretty rough. So you just saw me clean the pots. I didn't show me cleaning all of the pots. Um, I just sprayed them down with a hose and sprayed them with hydrogen peroxide. I think I might have to do a little spot cleaning, um, but they should be pretty good to go. There's another. And I wanna show that um, these are the, the water bottles that I put holes in to be able to um, water my garden plants. That was a total fail. That was a YouTube video that I saw. It was too many holes. If you're gonna do it, you probably only need like a little crack and then use them to slowly water. But they take up too much space in the pot. So for me, fail. And for the pots, and you'll have to excuse the patio. The patio is the next project. Uh, other people were like, oh, my patio is wrecked. I was like, no, this patio is wrecked. Um, these are the pots that I'm using for the garden. And it looks like they need um, um, bigger holes. Um, I think that was maybe the issue with the squash. These are the squash pots. Um, and then I have um, two more. That one is actually the hose pot. Um, got that from Home Depot. Oh, and these came from Dollar General. Uh, so I have to check the price on those. I want to say they were eight or ten dollars, which is really good for the size. Um, and then I have, I think that one was um, Dollar Tree. 
and then those are just some that I've collected over the years. So now I'm drilling larger holes and I'm just using, I, you know what, I don't even know what type of drill bit this is, but this is what I'm using to drill bigger holes in the bottom of the, um, the pot. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use that or use um, this drill bit to make maybe some smaller ones. So we'll see. These are the, the terracotta planters from Dollar General. And right now they're $14. Um, and I just wanted to note, those holes might be a little big. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to stick with the smaller drill bit. Um, mine, I know there was an issue with water drainage, so probably having that one is good. Three might be too many, but we'll see how it works. Okay, I wanted to show the uh, leaves, the dead leaves all cleaned out from the stones. Um, and the Dollar Tree rake actually did a pretty good job, I think, because it's smaller. So in much smaller spaces, um, getting leaves out, it worked pretty well. Um, I still have some weeds in there that are growing, so I'm going to spray them with the leftover hydrogen peroxide, supposedly, that's supposed to kill them. We'll see. And then I have more stones over there that I need to put down. These are, um, and then over here, they're not looking too good. I gotta get the watering can out. Get the watering. Um, morning Glory. Um, and it's two different colors. I think one is blue and one, another one's like violet. Um, and you'll see that um, they're coming up. They're doing very well over on this side. But again, I gotta come in with some, uh, some water. So I'll work on that a little later. I've already um, brought the pots out and filled them. Uh, my phone was getting so hot, <laughs> so I could leave it out of here. Um, but yeah, I uh, used the Dollar Tree rake to rake out the stones. And you saw me um, taking the, the stones out here. Um, so then I just moved the pots where I wanted them to be. First I started with the large ones, then the smaller ones. Um, filled them with dirt. Um, and then I moved the smaller ones out so I wouldn't get so much dirt on the um, on the stones. And my hubby helped me with, with the larger pots. Uh, and then I went ahead and planted the squash in the, the large ones. Um, I think carrots in the small one there. <laughs> and then um, marigold in the very small one there. <laughs> and string beans, string beans, and oh, that one there, this one there. Um, I don't know if that's enough room for them, but we'll see. And so it's looking very good. And I'll probably do a picture uh, when it's all completed. And that's the wagon that I got from Tamu. Um, and I'll, I'll try and um, find out how much I paid for it. It was probably like $25, $30. Here is the finished garden. I know, it's a small garden, but I don't need a large garden. Um, so, let's go through all of the features. Oh, and the, the noted border. Again held up really well. You can see down here the actual noted border that I put down and the cement, dry cement, and then laid the bricks on top of that and watered the bricks, the dry cement all together in order to um, keep the border together. And you'll see where I put down the fresh um, stones. I raked it out with the, the Dollar Tree rake. Uh, squash is growing there. I used some old 
Um, I think it's coconut, cocoa pores. Um, it's kind of insulate there so it doesn't lose as much water. Carrots, I believe, are planted there. And these are all Dollar Tree seeds. Um, that's supposed to be green squash. It has not come up yet. <laughs> and I believe I planted all this, this stuff in May. Um, green beans, green beans are doing well. So I have another one out front. Um, and I am going to have to drill a hole in that terracotta pot. It does not have a hole. Um, I thought that it would be able, since it's porous, that water would be able to come out, but it's not coming out fast enough. So I did have flowers, I believe. Oh, I can't remember which flowers I had planted in there, but they haven't been coming up. Those seeds are really old. I did get them from Dollar Tree, but they're years, like decades old. So I think I have to get fresh um, seeds for that or just another plant. I don't know. Um, and this is yellow squash here as well. And the pots came out pretty good. Seems to be working pretty good too. Then over here, I planted, okay, so I planted marigolds there for a marigold, <laughs> it's not big. Um, and morning glory here, two different colors, like a violet and a blue, to try and fill in the, um, the trellis. They're not doing as well here. I'll probably plant another seed um, here, because uh, that one's not, it's not doing very much at all. And then you'll see, my trellis from my wedding. It still has the artificial flowers on it, which I'm leaving on there. Um, they are slowly coming off and fading. But as you can see, the morning glories over here are doing amazingly. They get more sun over here. And so they are already going up the trellis. And I'm, I believe I planted those in either late April May time frame for the morning glory. I know morning glory is the one that painted first. And then we will go to the water feature, which is a pot with the melamine plate and the glass um, gems. And because um, I mixed them up, I mixed them with some. Am I blocking the sun? <laughs> I'm blocking it. Um, Okay, so those are glass gems and sea glass from Dollar Tree. All this from Dollar Tree. I think it was $1.25 per package, and I think I got um, a package of the sea glass, a package of the, or maybe two packages of the sea glass, and a package of the, um, the glass gems. And the glass gems were a mix of the clear and the turquoise. So, oh, and the, the plate is melamine. I don't suggest melamine. And I will say, I, I did not come up with this. I found this on YouTube. And you can, I will try and link it. Because uh, I can't remember the name of the two videos that I watched. So I will try to link them in the description. Um, but... They most definitely did this. They did not use melamine because they were it, they used plastic, so they could actually use their soldering iron. Or a, one lady just used her oven, her stovetop, and some metal skewers to put the holes. And one used the soldering iron to put holes in your plastic plate on top. I chose melamine because I thought it would be um, much more durable, which is correct. But it also means you're not going to be able to burn through it. Um, and I got mine from um, Home Goods. It was, maybe I wrote it down, $4.99, $4.99. So $5 for the plate. And I actually had to use bits um, to drill into them. And I'll, I will show you those. I, I braid, I used a braid bit. Um, I, not the, um, masonry not the masonry bit a braid bit because the the surface is so sleek it's it's slippery so it's so slippery so the braid bit really worked uh, better I got the um, solar 
fountain and pump. There's a pump down in the um, the planter. And what did I just pump? The pot. Sorry. <laughs> pump down in the pot. Um, and I got the pot from Home Goods. Thirty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. So forty dollars. And then the it's on top of a table that I got. Um, or table, side table slash seat from Dollar Tree, but it was in the plus section, $5. Um, and I did use some epoxy uh, to glue it to the top, and I planted, basically I planted the table so it is down in the ground, and it's in stones, and then used epoxy for the, um, the pot. Um, I'm not sure my epoxy worked too well, because it's old and one of the sides didn't work <laughs> but we'll see so far it's working pretty well and then I love the light the light is from family dollar you can get something similar at Dollar Tree in the plus section though five dollars however I will say um, for it being a solar light that I guess it's supposed to work outside um, it did the bulb filled with water. Um, I took the, you could take the bulb out. There's just fairy lights in there. Um, I cleaned it out. I put some hot glue around the top to keep water from getting in there. Hopefully, they say hot glue doesn't work too well at outside, so that's what I'm hoping, that it's not permanent, that it's just to try and keep the water out for the season. And then, I actually put a hole in the, because it's plastic, that bulb is plastic, a hole in the bottom of the plastic with my soldering iron. So water, if any water gets in there, it's not collecting in the bulb, it's coming out. And so that, I believe that's it. And I will show you the bits and then the, um, the bits, <laughs> the drill bits that I use on the Melamine um, plate and the seed packs that I used for the plants. <laughs> and I will show you one Bosco who is out here with me, but he's living his best life on his back. He's ridiculous. Are you ridiculous, Bosco? <laughs> Look at that smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> okay, here are the seeds. Those are the morning glory seeds. Do two different colors that I planted. Um, oh, did I plant? I'm not sure if I planted tomatoes out here. I think they might might be out front. I'm not sure. Um, what else did I? The petunias are out front. Uh, here's the green squash. Um, I think I'm gonna have to plant that one again. <laughs> uh, the carrots. The yellow squash, which I love. The garden beans, which grow very well. And the old pack of berry golds, which I think I'm gonna have to replace. The epoxy that I used was Gorilla Epoxy. That's in five minutes, but one of my sides is not working anymore. So I think only the clear one was coming out. So I think I need to replace that. And these are the bits that I use. Oh, I almost forgot. I uh, had to. I put a hole in <laughs> for the um, sprinkling, sprinkler part. Um, but then I also had to put holes in for the water to drain out. And then I also had to put, like, chip off some over here for the line. The line here. I got a bird here. I think he's trying to get in here too. Let's <laughs> the water. So, here is the braid bit, and that has the, the tip, like the nail tip, and that helps it, like, use it out when you put it in really shiny stuff to get some hold. And so I had to use two different sizes. Um, this was the one for the, um, the pump, it's the sprinkler part itself. Um, the other one was to make the hole on the side for the wire. And then this is the bit that I did not use, the masonry bit. 
but I think that is it. It came out pretty nice. I like it. Um, I call my style, my style Tuscan chic because <laughs> it's not really rustic farmhouse kind of thing. More rustic, Tuscan rustic. Tuscan rustic. Tuscan rustic. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, but that's, that's it for right now. I have one, two, three, four more projects to go outside. And it, it, all, it is already so hot out here. But I am liking how this is turning out. I do still, again, have to do some plant. Oh, and put some um, plant food steaks that I got from Dollar Tree in there to help the plants grow. And the, I already put the steaks in where the morning glories are, so you see how well those are doing. And I, I love, I love the fountain. The fountain is just so gorgeous. And the light, as soon as I put the light up there, it was just so beautiful. So thank you for watching Phoenix Blue Designs and Travel. Um, and again, I will try and link those videos for the homemade fountain <laughs> in my description. And I'm sorry that I don't remember the ladies' um, YouTube channels because they did such an amazing job. Um, I was looking all over the internet to find um, ideas and what was this and I am liking it so far so thank you and take care